Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here with the Holy Roller playing craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise. And today we're gonna roll out a strategy that actually was submitted by somebody in person when I was on my last cruise. Watch this, here we go. Welcome to the Holy Roller where it's all about playing craps and winning free cruises. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. So let's get rolling. All right, so on my last cruise, uh, Bob came up to me and Bob said, hey Brian, I have a strategy that I wanna submit for your channel. Now, I normally don't do uh, strategies that people submit or, or, or things like that. I usually do strategies that I wanna teach people to show them how to play a strategy on a cruise. Now, this strategy that he told me was very intriguing and I said, you know what? I'm gonna roll that out because I wanna see how that works. Now, I'm not sure if I would play this, but this is how it goes. It's, it's a big bankroll, so $5,000, okay? You would need $5,000 for this, and what you do is you lay the five for $700, okay? Laying the five means that you would lose if a five hits and you win if a seven hits, you would win that bet. Now that's gonna cost 25, it's like $24, but we'll just say it's $25 for a VIG or a commission to place that bet, all right? Then we're gonna do $120 on the six, and $120 on the eight, okay? And then we're gonna put $100 in the field. Now what Bob said is he said, what this does is this makes the five the bad number, and there's only four ways to make a five, and it makes the seven a good number. You'll lose this on a seven, but you'll win there. So on the five with the $700 lay, so you win $465 if the seven hits. You'll lose this right here, this uh, 340. But uh, he says the field is where it's at. You're really playing for the field because 120 will pay 140, and so you have a $40 difference. That'll kind of just pay for your VIGs over time, but you're really just wanting to hit the field numbers and get $100 or $200 if it's a two or 12. All right, now this is the setup, and he says this, you're always working, so the puck doesn't matter. So I'm not gonna be moving the puck back and forth on whatever the point is. Even if the point is five, we're laying that five. And I said to Bob, Bob, what should we call this strategy? He said, I don't know. I said, I know what to call it, because it's $5,000, we're making the five bad. I said, let's call it the Big Bad Five. So this strategy, we're gonna roll out, it's called the Big Bad Five. Here we go, okay? So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just, like I said, I'm not gonna put the puck on and off because we're just gonna assume, because we're always working, the puck and the point doesn't matter, okay? So we're always working, so we're working right now, and we are just always on. So let's see what happens. Uh, this is the come out roll, but it doesn't matter if it's come out roll because we're always working. Everything's working, here we go. And it is a nine, all right? Nine comes. And guess what? That's a $100 win. We're gonna put it right over here in, a, in the side, on the other side, just so we can keep track. Here we go. And we roll again, and it's a six. Okay, now the six, the way that works is this loses, and it pays 140. Why don't I just pay 150 for 10, okay? So we're just gonna do that, and then we're gonna put 50 in our rack. Um, actually, I'm gonna put it on the other side and then we're going to put the field back. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. And it's a nine again, a nine. And so that pays $100. And let's roll it again and see there's an eight. So an eight, again, we're just gonna throw in 10 for 150, okay? And so then we'll put the 50 over here and we'll put the one right there. Let's roll again and see what happens. And it's an eight. All right, again, the 10 for 150, $50 difference there, okay? And we'll put this back and we'll put the 50 over here. So let's see where we're at just really quick. It looks like we're up $250, just $250 right there. And you might say, okay, tell me, when do you walk away? <laughs> well, on any bankroll, I mean 10 to 20%, should be your walk away. So um, if we're saying the big bad five, why don't we 
have 500 is our walk away. Uh, that's what I would do. Big bad five, we're making the five bad. We're walking away if we make $500. All right, let's see what we do. And it is a five. Did I say five too much? Okay, so what happens is we lose the field. Now these stay up, right? We lose the field and we lose the $700 right there. All right, now what happens is I said, Bob, what if it hits? What if, what if you get knocked off? What do you do? He says, put it back. All right, so we're gonna put it back by just putting up another 700. That's gonna be another $25 on the VIG for that. And we're gonna put another, another uh, $100 in the field, okay? And we haven't seen the bad number yet, although that is the bad number for us, right? But normally you wouldn't wanna see a seven, but, uh, but right now, uh, the five was the big bad five. That's kind of our losing number, if you would, because we lost 700. Let's see, let's see if we can go and uh, and go until that number comes, and then we'll count up our bankroll. Here we go, because we're always working. <laughs> and I said the number, and it came. All right, <laughs> so that means these lose as well, but then that gets paid this time. So that gets paid 400. Okay, 400, and. $65, okay, so that's $465. We're gonna have to pay another 25 to leave it there or to put it back, okay? So maybe it doesn't pay 465, right? <laughs> maybe it only pays 440, all right. All right, so here we go. Let's um, put this, we're just gonna set back up and we're just gonna use this money to set back up. Let me get some, some nickels with that. So we could do our 20 and our 20, all right? So there's that. We're gonna take this 200, put it to our rack. We're gonna put this over as well. Um, and we'll see where we're at. Let's go another, a couple more. Oh, this is a quarter in the field. We don't want a quarter in the field. We want $100 in the field. All right. So again, this would normally be the puck went off, shooter, change, all that. We don't care. We don't care about the puck. We don't, we don't, we're not, we're just playing every role every time. Let's get a field number. That's what we really want is the field numbers. Let's see what happens. And it's a seven. All right. So because we're working all the time, now that would have been a come out seven, but we're working all the time. Okay. So we lost all of this, right? And I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to put it right here. There is that. There's that, right? And let's see, there's, uh, there's 25. And there's 15, so let's add another uh, to make that 50, and it's going to be, uh, well, actually, we said 40, right? We said it pays 440, because we're going to put pay for that VIG to keep that back. All right, so even though the 7 came, it looks like we actually made $100 on that. Let's see, let's see what happens, because we're just going to put this back up, put this back in the field, and then we have our... 120 and 120. So yeah, we made a hundred dollars just like that on a come out. Okay. So same, same shooter, same dice. Here we go. And it is an eight. All right. So if this was the case where this became the eight, I said, I wasn't going to move the puck, but just to kind of show you, this is how it would really roll. You would lose this, but the difference would have been $40. So let me get $40 right there. Um, and then we'll put that back. All right, so now we have $40 and we're rolling. All right, and it's a 12. This is the, this is what we wanted to see here because this pays double in the bubble or double in the field, as you would say. There's another 200. All right, here we go. Let's roll. And it's a six. Now we know that the six is a difference of $40 or $10 for 50, okay? So pays 140. And we're just going to put this back and put the $50 right here. And I stopped putting it aside on the different side just because. So let's go. Let's roll. Oh, there's a two. All right. That's always good to see. The 12 and the two hit. I always say don't really count on that. It rarely happens. And it happened just in a couple rolls right now. And there's a three. All right. Another field number, which is just a $100 hit in the field. All right. Here we go. Let's see where we're at. Here's a five. The big bad five. The big bad five. We lose the field and we lose the $700.
So we're going back up with $700. It's gonna cost us 725, right? And we're gonna go back out in the field for 100, and we're still rolling. Here we go, let's see what happens. And it's an eight, so we know that that's um, a $40 difference or uh, 10, right? Because it pays 140. We're gonna give 10 for 150 there, okay? And we're going to put this back in the field. Here we go. Let's get some more 12s. I mean, that was great. Um, okay, there's a 6. Now, when we hit that 8, the puck would have went on, went off. Then it would have been on the 6, okay? Now we're on the 6. Again, the difference is $40. This time we'll just pay $40, okay? And we'll just put it in our rack here. And let's roll. And it is a 6. Again, another $40. All right, so let's do 50 uh, or 10 for 50, I should say. Um, and then that, that pays that. So this goes back. We put 50 here. And just because I started doing the puck, I might as well just keep going with that. All right, there's a 10. All right, the 10. And that means that would be a 10. And we would win $100 on a 10. And here we go. We're still rolling. And it's a four. Four. Oh, sorry. I was taking it out of the rack there. Um, four means that we win another hundred dollars. I need to put it in the rack, not take it out. All right, here we go. And there is a six. We know that the six is forty dollars, or we're gonna pay uh, ten for fifty, and it pays one forty. And then we'll put the hundred back, and we'll go ahead and put this right there. And here we go. Let's see what happens. There's a two. It happened again. Double in the bubble. Let's put it right there and let's roll it again. And it is a nine. Nine is $100, $100 win in the field. Let's put it right there. And here we go. And there is a three. Three is $100, $100 win right there, just like that. Here we go. And it's a five again, five again. Okay, so we hit the five three times and the seven once. Maybe I'm just a really good roller, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Not really. Sometimes you'll see sevens come a lot more than fives uh, because there are six ways to make a seven and only four ways to make a five, but we've hit it three times. Okay, so we lose the five, we lose the field, and we go back up, and we're going to do it one more time for one more resolution, then we'll count it up and see where we are. So there is one, uh, 725 for the VIG there, and we put another 100 right here. And they're still on the point of 10, but it doesn't matter to us. We're always working. Let's go. Let's see what happens. There is an 8. So we know that the 8 is 10 for 50 because it pays 140. All right. So here we go. Let's put that back in the rack there. And then let's, let's see if we can get... Oh, there's the 7. Okay. So the 7 hits. And we have this all loses. And we know that the 5 pays 4. 65 so let's just pay that and we're just going to pay that out in four whoops there's that's there's four and we're going to do 65 all right 465 we're actually going to come down as well and so uh because we we get paid on that we wouldn't have to uh pay that 25 to put it back because we're coming down on it all right down on that number and let's uh let's count it up and see where we are with this strategy we played it a little bit and uh we'll see where we're at okay so here's 75 there's another hundred so we'll just put that there um here goes uh let's see there's a hundred there i like that and then uh we need another 200 there's one two for that that's 2500 and uh, six, 700, 2700, and uh, looks like 50, seven, 20, so two, no, 4,500, <laughs> 4,500, 600, 750. So we're down a couple, just a little bit, but uh, I mean, what do you think of the strategy? Let me know in the comments. Would you play this? I, I don't know. I mean, it is. We're making the five the bad number. There's only four ways to make a five. Some people would say do it on the four, do it on the 10. Um, but 
what you win, if you put $700 here, you only win 350. So the five and the nine has a better payout. The six and eight hit more often. So if you were gonna pick it, I would say the five or the nine if you were gonna do this. But I like the big bad five. Thanks Bob for submitting it and telling us all about it. Um, I watched him do this, I think, a, a low, at a lower version. He didn't do the 700, he did a little bit less. And he got knocked off on the five a couple times. We got knocked off uh, three times on the five and the seven came twice, I think. So we got paid twice. I guess if we kept going, we probably can uh, can can be there. And and let me tell you, as far as comps on a cruise to earn a free cruise, if they're giving you all the, I mean, you, I don't know if you can last with five hundred with five thousand. I'll probably roll this out and see how long you could do this, um, and then see if it's worth playing on a cruise because with with I mean that was seven eight nine that's a thousand dollars on the table if you did that for one hour or two hours you would probably get a free cruise out of it but can you last for two hours that's what I need to find out all right hey thanks for watching watch this video if you'd like to see more and I hope to see you cruising and rolling on a craps table soon see ya.